thought he had a really good fastball from Jump Street. You know, um, really got after it there with with Judge's first batter, uh, and then he started mixing uh, well enough with his breaking balls and, and some change up in there too. So, but I thought his fastball was, was really good, uh, and and throwing it where he where and how he wanted to. How is Marwin? He's doing all right. Um, uh, took a pretty good shot, better than I thought. He had him pretty good mark on his face when I went out there to check on him. So um, trainers just felt like he needed to get out of there at that point. He wanted to stay in, but um, hope, I, I don't think it's anything that's going to put him down. But, um, you know, see how we're doing through the night. Kind of a freak thing. Have you ever seen anything like that? Um, I don't know where I've seen it where a guy's, you know, got it that good and had to come out of the game. I, I've seen the throwback where it hits the bat or hits a guy's helmet in a one-off every now and then, but um, I don't know that I've experienced that. And Mont Montas in the dugout, any update on his MRI? I don't have an update yet, no. Did uh, get checked for a Yeah, yeah, right now it doesn't look like um, he he's going to have to go into any protocol. Aaron, you taking him out have anything to do with, because you said he had some dizziness last night. Was that one of the have anything to do with the other? Um, I, yeah, I don't think so. I mean, I, I think it was more Alfonso out there saying, uh, I think we should take him. So it was more of that. Adama Summers for the second straight night. You faced him a lot when he joined Tampa Bay years. Just what makes him kind of a tough out? Um, you know, he goes up hunting things you know he'll he'll sell out to what he's looking for and he's he's got us he got us on a slider last night i think he got us on a two seamer tonight kind of down and in uh you know both pitches more down the strike zone but you know he'll sell out to certain things and and try and get his swing off and you know he's done that you know 30 times this year and you know unfortunately you know both nights it's it's uh it's kind of been the difference with runners on obviously Tough night at the plate for Stanton. It seems like he's really struggling to get in a rhythm since coming off the injured list. Just what have you been seeing throughout his at bats? Yeah, just just you know, the way I see it is that little bit of gather that kind of gets every hitter started. You know, everyone's a little bit different, a little bit unique. G's very unique, um, but just getting that gather so where he can, you know make really good swing decisions and, sh and be able to shut down uh, you know when he doesn't get what he's looking for because of how he starts and how he gets going it feels to me like you know he's he's a little too short at the ball just just go so um, we just got to grind through it with him because we know you know we get through on the other side of it it's you know it's it can be hop on so physically do you believe he's okay physically I think he's doing fine um, you know continue to check with him um, you know, I think it's more a matter of, of just getting into that good rhythm and timing, you know, which, which is a little bit of a challenge right now. <laughs> yeah, encouraging that he, you know, you know, comes in and walks, was it four pitches? And then, uh, you know, kind of settled in. I thought he threw the ball well, you know, and, you know, we talk about, I think, having the b b of a quick base runner out there, I think sometimes serves him well because it, it, it shortens him up, you know, he's quicker to the plate, gets his arm in position quicker, and he started throwing strikes with everything, with his slider split and heater. So um, I thought once he got through that first batter, he, he threw the ball really well, aided from a couple good plays. Miggy made a great play in left, judge in right, but I thought after that first batter, I thought he threw the ball really well. What about tonight? I thought his stuff was good. I thought they really took tough at bats against him. You know, he was able, you know, hadn't hadn't allowed a run to the Adamas at bat the second time through. Um, you know, but even those first few innings, I thought his stuff was good and I thought but I thought their at bats were really good against them. So they made him they, they kinda taxed him and worked him. Um, and then, you know, Adamas got a mistake, uh, uh, or or a pitch he could handle obviously and, and that, that turned out to be the difference. But I thought I thought his stuff was pretty good. I thought he competed well. I thought he made a big pitch to to, to get us through five there. Um, but again, Adamas hurt us.